Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a new update on the city, a pretty big update. Finally moving into the uh, second Lego room. Um, it's been a long time coming. I haven't had much time to mess with this room, but uh, finally I'm going to start building out this second Lego room and going to be able to use the uh, tunnel over here to run the trains between the two Lego rooms. So I'm trying to get some feedback on what to do with the space. As you can see here, the only part that's really built out is the, the agricultural area with uh, some farms and uh, windmills and things like that, and kind of some detail in the tunnel there. Other than that, uh, just kind of, I think the amusement park is going to go over here near the, uh, the farm, but I'm not totally sure. Um, it's a pretty big space, but once I build it all out, it's going to be pretty full. And then over here where we have the, uh, the Brick Cross train station and the uh, engine shed. I'm going to build a small train yard, I think, to complement the one in the other Lego room, which is kind of crowded, um, give me some more space. So yeah, I think adding the train yard and the amusement park over here should work. And then this little middle part, I might make that kind of a water feature and somehow build a bridge, either for the road or the track or both. And then over here, I'm thinking about making this the park area where the museum will be and the botanical gardens. Plus the general layout of the second room. These tables are modular so I can move these anywhere. So if you have any ideas on what to do with this, maybe how to change the tables around, where to put the amusement park in a different location, where to put the rail yard, where to put the botanical gardens and the natural history museum. So here's a closer look at the uh, Brick Cross train station. As you can see, it's a pretty neat set. Um, I'm sure there's more detailed reviews of this set out there. But just to give a really quick overview, I'll remove the roof here, where you can see the pretty well detailed out interior of this set uh -huh. with a unique staircase, piano, status board, etc. Now the exterior is even better, I think. Very well detailed. You get this cafe on the side, the patio and outdoor seating, and of course the uh, platform for the trains. And a balcony. Then on the other side, you have this kind of retail area that opens up to reveal the uh, kind of the retail area where you can buy tickets, newspapers, drinks, and things like that. And then there's a kitchenette that serves the bar. So yeah, that's about it. Um, just wanted to show you guys the uh, general space I'm working with and the possibilities. I'm going to see what I can do here in the next couple of days to come up with something here and share it with you guys. But if I can get some feedback. In the comments, that would be really helpful on what to do here. I will quickly show you the other room where the uh, train comes through the wall here. I haven't detailed this side of the tunnel yet, so still trying to figure out what to do here and how to route the uh, monorail through here. But uh, soon enough, I'll come up with something there. I just want to get the train running for now. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Here's the other city that's pretty well built out and the uh, rail yard and train station there. And then uh, the other Lego room has basically a clean slate to work with. So any thoughts, ideas, or feedback would be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next update.